Hello viewers, welcome to Tech Study Cell. In this video, we will discuss how a LED or light emitting diode works and we will compare our ordinary silicon diode with the LED in this video. Nowadays, the LED lights become more popular in all the place as they are more efficient than any other light source and day by day the LED light become more cheaper. Now like ordinary PN junction, silicon or germanium diode, all the LED have same PN junction and two terminal anode and a cathode. But if you apply a forward voltage to ordinary PN junction diode, no light emitting from this diode. But if you apply a forward voltage to LED, a light can emit through this LED. Now in this schematic of the PN junction, you can see this is a P type region and this is a N type region. And at the middle, this is a depletion region. Now when we apply a forward wires to this PN junction, we connect the positive terminal of the battery to P-type region and we connect the negative terminal of the battery to N-type region. Then hole from the P-type region and electron from the N-type region flow towards each other and they meet at the depletion region. And after meeting the hole and electron at the depletion region, they emit some energy as a photon. The value of the emitted photon is equal to Ez which is equal to the multiplication of Planck constant and the frequency of the electromagnetic radiation. Here F is the electromagnetic radiation frequency. If this frequency situated within our visible spectrum within this portion then the light emit or radiation emit from this PN junction is visible to us we can see the light for this LED the semiconductor use is direct band semiconductor like galenium arsenide galenium phosphoride for the direct band semiconductor you can see here the minimum of the conduction band and the maximum of the valence band occur at the same time so when the electron jump from the conduction band to valence band the photon release is equal to eg and for this the frequency is within the visible spectrum and we can see the radiation thus led can emit the light within our visible spectrum we can see the light glowing from this led now for this ordinary pn junction diode the semiconductor uses germanium silicon which are indirect band gap semiconductor now for this indirect band gap semiconductor you can see the minimum of the conduction band and the maximum of the valence band does not occur at the same time so when the electron try to jump from conduction band to valence band most of the energy is absorbed due to change of momentum of the electron so in that case the Eg which is equal to Planck constant multiplied by the frequency of the electromagnetic radiation the F is within the infrared region so that time the radiation is not visible to our eyes as the F within the infrared region thus we apply a forward voltage to this PN junction diode we cannot see any light glowing from this diode now for this TV remote control if I press any button, you cannot see any light here as they have used infrared LED. So here the frequency within the infrared region. So the light is not visible to us. Now this process of emitting light is very efficient as very low amount of energy is waste due to heat energy for this LED. But in case of the filament lamp, we have to heat the filament at first then light start emitting from that filament most of the energy wasted due to heat energy for this incandescent filament lamp but for this LED as I have discussed the light emitting process is very efficient so this LED lamp is 87% more efficient than this filament lamp and this LED is also more efficient than this CFL lamp. So this LED is nowadays becoming more popular for every application as it 
consume less energy and emit maximum light without wasting most of the energy now led can be found in different color red yellow green blue white as we have used different direct band semiconductor to make the pn junction like galenium arsenide galenium phosphide galenium arsenide phosphide silicon carbide galenium indium nitride so this direct band gap semiconductor can emit light in different color and another advantage of the led is that it start glowing with the full brightness as soon as we supply the forward voltage to this led lamp but for the gas discharge lamp it take certain 5 minute to 10 minute time to glow with the full brightness so nowadays for the street light the gas discharge lamp is replaced with the led now in this video we have discussed the working principle of the led in details and what are the difference between the normal pn junction diode and the led and if you find this video helpful don't forget to give a thumbs up and share it with your friends and please do subscribe our channel for more such video thank you for watching have a great day